Hey guys, Mr. Wild of Hakeva, welcome to the video. If you haven't checked out my last video, go check it out. It's about the Dell touchpad and the issues with it. This video is related because uh, that this causes the Dell touchpad to actually break. So what what this video is is about the body of the Dell. So the the body of the Dell is made from plastic, and not a good plastic. It's not heat. It's not resistant to good heat. And this laptop does get very hot. It's constantly running about 80 to 90. That's with everything off on the shitty settings, you know. The main reason for that is a poor thermal design. It's called one fan. Normal laptops have two fans. My gaming laptop has two fans. This is not a gaming laptop, but a normal laptop has two fans anyway. This laptop has one fan and it's a tiny one, so it's useless. So yeah, the cooling system on this is crap. Okay, so that's the main reason that the flex happens. I've never dropped this in my life. I've only had this for four months, guys. And yeah, these problems began about one or two months in. I'm only making video now because uh, I've been busy working on stuff, so I can't really do anything. So yeah, I'll try to see if I can show you how badly flexed. So if you look at that, oh, there's a bit of a bulge there as well. But yeah, so that's not straight anymore. My camera is so shit today, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, this, uh, let me see if I can find a ruler or something. Uh, is there anything straight I can put on this so to show you? No, maybe not. Let's see if I can find something, guys. It'll help you visualize this better. Guys, okay, so have a look there. Can you kind of tell now what I'm on about? It's like uh, instead of being straight, it's a bit like an angle like that. Or this way. Uh, yeah, this way a bit. So instead of being straight, it's like that. That's how the body flexed. So I've got a straight belt here. I can't do it anyway. I've got two hands. Otherwise, I could have shown you this belt. It makes it a bit easier to visualize. But yeah. Oh well. Let's see if I can show you. From above, does that make it better? But yeah, that's not straight anymore, you can really tell. And this body flexes very easily, like I can make it flex right now with my hand. That's how it is, you do punches. And you do have the issue of <coughs> so there was something people told me about before buying, which I showed you in the unboxing video actually. Where you press down all these and if you get keyboard flex so when i got the laptop there wasn't any keyboard flex we'll look at this now look how badly i'll move this in a bit so it doesn't move too much can you see that really bad keyboard flex really really bad and then on top of that you got this key uh, so this is this is all caused by the heat of this laptop and the poor build quality so look at this look at the gap so this mouse part doesn't work half the time, right? I'm just not focusing, man. Stupid thing. Right, ready? Okay, see that massive gap there? Now pay attention to this side. This side is fine compared to the difference, can you see? Look at the difference. And this side is broken. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. So at certain angles it won't work at all. Like I've shown him all the video, so if I bring up here, it's getting harder and harder to press. And yeah, it's not good, it's not good at all. So, Dell Body Flex is a real thing. All this stuff I read on the forums, I thought never would happen to this laptop, but everything's coming true. So, yeah, not looking good for the Dell. So, hopefully. I don't know, we'll have to find a decent laptop. Recommend me a decent gaming laptop, guys. Actually, I'm done with gaming laptops. Actually, I don't know, might as well. Recommend me a cheap, good gaming laptop, guys. Uh, this one is an AMD, so I've I made my first switch to AMD on this laptop itself. And I gotta say, I am impressed with the CPU-GPU combo. Because this has no actual, it has only integrated graphics, not the proper GPU inside and it runs games crazily like I'm really impressed that's how good it is so yeah that's one good thing about this 
and uh, the temps should be lower but that's just because this laptop has a shit design otherwise the temps would technically be lower but yeah it is what it is so yeah Dell fix yourself up man why you why are you cutting I know why these uh, laptops are cheap now because they just fucking shit but even the more expensive models the XPS and stuff they have the same problems and they're very expensive so maybe Dell as a whole is just shit yeah Dell fix yourself up if you want to send me a better laptop send me one for free please I'll be ready I'll put it to the test because this one this one is just a joke no good alright guys thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel see you guys next time goodbye